Hi, I'm Stephen Ellert. I'm an astrophysicist here at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center, and I'm answering some questions about the spooky science of space. All right, so here, let's pull a question out of our pumpkin here. Let's see, it says, what would happen to a pumpkin if it was thrown in a black hole? Well, in the beginning, it would be a long journey. There's a black holes are not terribly close to us. They're light years away, so it would take a long, long time for that pumpkin to make it there. But then it would be a pretty normal trip. It wouldn't be much different than orbiting around a planet or the sun for most of it until it got to the very end. And when it got to the very end, it would be very, very uh, stretchy and painful because at least for the, the black holes in our galaxy, what would happen is there's a, there's a, you basically get a force that goes between the bottom of the pumpkin and the top of the pumpkin because the gravity is so strong and it would stretch out really, really thin. It's called spaghettification. That's actually the technical term for it. And it would be very painful for our pumpkin. All right, are there ghosts in space? Well, the short answer is no. The longer answer is no, but there are some things that look pretty spooky out in space. In fact, one of my favorite images that I've seen recently is of something that looks exactly like a spooky cosmic hand sort of floating up that's many, many light years across. Can you hear a scream in space? There is sound up in space and there is gas up in space and that you can actually transmit some sound through it, but because the, uh, the pressure is so much lower for gas in space than it is gas on Earth, really your voice wouldn't travel and the, the notes that you would hear from, the notes that you'd hear from the sound up in space would be so low that your ears couldn't hear them. So if you want somebody to hear you scream in space, please keep your space helmet on.